Today we're taking a quick flight to Palm Springs from New York City. Let me explain. This is a staycation quarantine vlog because, well, most of us are probably stuck where we are. So I thought it would be interesting and fun to have a little mini staycation where we are. And I had this awesome, awesome weekend, which was super Palm Springs themed. And it was amazing. So I thought I'd share with you some ideas to help you bring Palm Springs to wherever you are. And first, a message from my sponsor, Storyblocks. I highly recommend you check out Storyblocks to save you time in editing and, and money, really, if you were to get each asset individually. It costs so much more money. I have the unlimited plan. I highly recommend it. As you'll see throughout this video, I use Storyblocks stock footage and video effects. They have sound effects. They have audio. They have gorgeous After Effects templates that make text and intros and outros super easy, like this intro. A trip to Palm Springs isn't complete without a trip also to Joshua Tree. So I created a little short, relaxing video at the end, all of footage of Joshua Tree, some of my footage and some of Storyblocks. So you can guess which one is which, and that'll be at the end. But first, all of the amazing things you can do to make sure that you enjoy a version of Palm Springs wherever you are. Okay, let's go. What is on the Palm Springs itinerary? Number one, that pink door. You know exactly which pink door I'm talking about. It is that famous one. If you've ever searched Palm Springs on Instagram, it pops up everywhere. There are these photos of people in front of that pink door, which technically I think you're not supposed to take photos in front of anymore. I'm gonna leave the address here. If you're nearby, I'm not gonna ask questions if you wanted to see it, but even better than that, so you don't even have to go to this silly pink door. You can just create a pink door wherever you are at your home. I know, right? So this actually doesn't involve any physical painting, but I thought it was really fun to try out some different apps and see what would it be like if I did paint a door in my house pink or paint the walls. What would all the different colors look like? So I highly recommend checking out all these different apps. I'll link them down below that just allow you to change the color of the paint, which is just like so fun. You can do it very easily in all these different apps. You can change the wall color. You could change, uh, you could change the furniture around. It gets really fancy. Yes, I had so much fun redecorating. I hope you do too. Number two, Air Museum. There is an amazing YouTube channel from this air museum and this guy gets all dressed up and he makes super cheesy jokes. Please support them. They are so cute and fun and I just like totally appreciate all the work that goes into it and I learned so much. In the first five minutes, I learned a lot. I, I even learned that F in front of the plane stands for fighter, fighter jet. Like who knew that? I didn't know that. Maybe you knew that. If you are an avid geek, you love anything related to planes, you will really enjoy this channel. Okay. Number three, the movie Palm Springs, which is now on Hulu. You can also check it out in drive-in theaters if you're near one. I loved this movie. Some reviewers actually said it was their favorite of 2020, which uh, there's not that many movies, but it is totally worth checking out. I highly recommend it. I loved it. It was a romantic comedy. It's very similar to Groundhog's Day. However, instead of there, there's basically more than one character reliving the day. And I think it's just such a fun, you know, twist on that concept that you'll really enjoy. I'm not going to say too much, but I do love sort of that, that, that aspect of, you know, should you be stuck in the past and, and stay in this, this loop, or do you want to fight to figure out how do you get to the future? And it's just, it's a fascinating dynamic. Love, love everything about it. Number four, Modernism Week Tour. I really enjoyed digging into this. I didn't really know about this before, but they have all sorts of tours through these gorgeous homes that you can sign up for. I, I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. I'll recommend some linked down below. Watching all of this made me want to redecorate, buy some real funky lamps, get some patterned wallpaper. It's just some amazing design inspiration. Number six, spa. Why not simulate a spa self-care day at home one weekend? I basically, all I had to do, you, you can do face masks, you can do a new nail polish color. For me, I actually went to a sauna, AKA my balcony and just outside. And it was so hot. It's been, it's been very hot. It's been like 90 degrees Fahrenheit for summer. It's very hot right now. 
and it's so humid that it felt like I was going outside in a sauna. <laughs> Number seven for food, we grilled burgers upstairs on my neighbor's grill. I have been loving this grill during quarantine. I've actually learned how to grill. It's actually so much easier than you think. Um, I love this new recipe. Shout out to my neighbor, Eric. Thank you for introducing me to Gorgonzola burgers. It's so good and it's so easy. You just get ground beef and then you get gorgonzola cheese. You crumble up the cheese ahead of time. Then you grab the meat and you crumble the cheese into the meat and you just keep mixing it until the little chunks are everywhere in the meat. And then you put it on the grill. I put it on some brioche buns and boom, it's so good. I've had it, I think like four or five times during quarantine because it's just that good. A Palm Springs staycation wouldn't be complete without a trip to Joshua Tree. I am obsessed with Joshua Tree and I wanted to make this little video, montage video. Why don't you guess at the end which footage was mine and which footage was Storyblocks and then you'll find out at the end. Okay. And by the way, if you want Storyblocks, check out the link below. Thank you to Storyblocks for supporting me and for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. Bye for now, but keep watching for the video. a secret. I haven't been to Palm Springs. I've been super close and I've wanted to go so many times. I've been to LA multiple times, but then I actually haven't been to Palm Springs. So all of that footage was story blocks. I know, right? Like if you're impressed, check it out. Link below. Seriously, <laughs> do it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the support for me and thank you to story blocks. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.
It was just an easy as peasy situation, which makes my life as an editor easier so I can spend more time relaxing on my virtual beach in Palm Springs, which is not a beach. You know what I mean? Like the virtual desert, just under the palms. La la la. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that.